All right, guys, so here we are at a local car show. I got obviously my C8 Corvette Z06 here, and a friend of mine, his name's Dax, he pulled in in his C8 Z06, and I thought, what better time to go over the differences of what I did to my car than to show his, because his car is totally stock, and this is exactly how my car looked from factory. So I didn't have any Z07 stuff on it, no splitters, no side skirts, nothing carbon fiber or anything. Uh, his car's not lowered, none of the stuff that my car has, and then we can really clearly see what it gets you to add the carbon fiber parts, the Z07 kit, the lowering, the wheel spacers, all that stuff. So again, 2023 red mist, 2023 black, uh, both Z06s, non-Z07s. His does not have carbon ceramic rotors either, but it's gonna give us a good idea of how much of a difference the parts that I made or I did on this car really made. So other than the front splitter and the dive planes and the carbon fiber fangs there, you can really get a good idea of the difference there. And then moving down to the wheels here. So you guys know I have my car lowered through Paragon Performance. So get a good glimpse at that versus his, the ride height. Look, yeah, look at the difference there in the ride height. Massive, massive difference. So then again, kind of looking down the sides here, we can really get a good glimpse at how much of a difference those wheel spacers make in the rear, look at that. Yeah, so the rear wheels, mine's obviously lowered in the rear as well but the spacing of the wheel is just out so much more. His does not have a spacer, nor is it lowered in the rear. Look at the difference in the ride height. And then of course, the way that those wheels stick out, I mean, that's incredible. There is, it's, it's an amazing, the difference that an inch makes. Yeah, that's what she said. And then even the mirrors here, guys, we got the tinted smoked Paragon mirrors. The, the turn signals here that are sequential, but they're also smoked to match, match the black finish here. His is the clear, the stock clear. Uh, these are sequential as well. So if I unlock them, they light up individually where these ones just blink. And then of course, moving back a little further, we got the carbon fiber boomerangs on mine versus the carbon flash on his. Really, really clear indication here just to kind of show you the guys the difference between stock and then the Sagala carbon but yeah guys that that ride height and the wheel spacing it's insane how different that is and coming back here we got the side skirts real clear carbon flash on the left carbon fiber on the right really really looks good and again, the, the ride height here in the front, I'll kind of get down a little bit lower. There's no spacers in the front, just the ride height that's different. But yeah, look how much, look how much bigger that is. Really cool. Of course, I love the red mist exterior color. That looks really good on this car. It really pops in the sun. But again, just no splitter, no dive planes, no carbon fiber. This car would actually look really good with carbon fiber too. It would really pop on there. Okay, versus right, exactly. mine having all of that stuff looks really good of course guys i'm really happy with the way the car turned out and then of course we'll check out the rear too because he still has the stock like kind of dovetail wing on it versus mine is the z07 wing so i'll give you a little bit of an idea of the difference there too chrome exhaust tips versus the black ones on mine And oh, look at that. There's a Mountain Dew placement. How about that? But uh, the black intake versus mine with the edge red. And obviously the carbon fiber dress up parts. And this guy right here, you guys can actually save 10% on that. Check out the link in the description down below. He also has the satin graphite wheels, I believe these are. Mines are just black. Again, look at that spacing and the ride height. Really, really different. Chrome exhaust tips. 
And then here's black with the carbon fiber add-ons from Aerolari. Tinted taillights versus non-tinted. It's pretty cool. And then of course we can actually see the difference in the height that the, the rear hatch opens because of the the struts here from Paragon Performance. These open up the rear hatch all the way versus the stock one that opens it up a little bit less. You can push it up a little bit more if you'd like, but look at the difference in the height there. But that's pretty much it guys. I'm just gonna, I just wanted to make a real quick video here kind of comparing everything for you. Let's see who made his. Shane Parker built his engine and mine is Mark Charter Chartier. I can't, I can't see what that says, but either way, we got him on video. So yeah, it's just a quick comparison of the two cars, guys. If you liked what you saw, smash that thumbs up button. Let me know you're liking the content. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and we'll catch you in the next one. Do the do. Take two.